Hi guys, it's Cammy's Cam and I'm back with another video. And today, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be telling you um, basically how much is the price of IUI. And if you don't know, IUI is an infertility treatment and it helps those people who cannot naturally get pregnant or if you just want to do IUI, it helps for that for other reasons. Um, but I am living in basically Charlotte, North Carolina, in that area. Not in Charlotte, but I live in the Charlotte area. So if you want to know a general price, it can vary from where you live. Like I'm kind of down south, but if you live in California, of course, I'm guessing prices would be higher. But then again, California, I think, is one of the states where infertility is covered by insurance by most companies, but not where I'm at, but I wish. But anyways, how much is IUI? The price of IUI, first of all, the process of getting to IUI, you have to pay all that. But specifically for IUI, for me, I paid, I'm looking at my paper, y'all. I paid up front, it has to be paid before the surgery, before any anything gets done. So the price for me was one thousand and sixty two dollars. One zero six two. One thousand sixty two dollars just for the IUI. And they said basically like the monitor the monitoring part, which is before the day of incision, is the monitoring costs about seven hundred and twenty six dollars and the day of insemination, not incision, insemination. The day of insemination, basically when they put the sperm wash sperm inside of you, that part is $336. And this is the price without insurance. Unfortunately, my insurance through my company, through my job, does not cover it at all. So, all of that is out the pocket. Um, but thankfully, I do have HSA, so you can use your HSA account to help pay for that. Um, also... Just to let you know, that's not all. That is not the total cost of the IUI process. That's the cost after you have already seen the doctor, after you've already had your consultations and all of your initial stuff. Like that does not include the initial um, doctor's appointment with the fertility specialist or the endocrinologist. That part, I'm not sure how much it costs with my first appointment and all that because I've already been seeing the doctor like I told you all. But however, for the IUI itself, it's $1,062, which I cannot believe. That's a lot of money. And then a lot of people, it doesn't work on the first try. I think they said maybe it's like a eight, five to eight percent chance that IUI works. So it can take up to 15 times, basically, before it can work for you. And this is only for one. So that's a lot of money. Um, so you got the $1,062, and that's just for the procedure. So the next price, I don't even have yet, but the next price would be for... What you over there lying about? I'm not lying. This is the truth. Oh, uh, I think you know it's the truth. We basically had to put our process, that's my husband, we had to put our process on hold to save up money. And then, you know, every time you try to save up money, something comes up. So where that money has to go somewhere else because it's an emergency. So then you have to wait longer and save up more. So, anyways, like I was saying, the other prices that's not included in that $1,062 is the price for the medicine. Now, it depends on what kind of medicine your doctor is going to put you on. Um, I've been taking Femira. That's what I started off with, but that didn't work for me. So they're going to combine the Femira with my IUI. Um, when I was doing Femira, I don't think I paid no more than $10 for it, but that was with insurance. And now I do not have insurance. It's not, well, it hasn't kicked in yet. And with the way it's set up, my IUI, well, my cycle is starting this week. And my insurance doesn't kick in for another two weeks. So I think I'm going to have to pay for my medicine without insurance, which for the Femira for 7.5 milligrams, five days, I think it's 40 something dollars and that's the discounted price so I don't I believe it might have been like 70 or 80 dollars without the discount so it depends on however that pharmacy wants to do me I guess that's how much we got to pay out the pocket without insurance and then there's another medication I don't know if I wrote it down 
it starts with an O or something. I think it's the trigger shot. I have no idea how much that costs. So that's the only thing I'm leaving you all pretty much clueless about is the trigger shot. Um, or whatever. I think it's Omni. Something that starts with an O. But I don't remember what it's called and I can't find it. But that's the other thing you have to pay for. And whatever other medicines your doctor wants to put you on. I don't exactly know what all medicines they exactly want to use yet until I go and go to my first appointment. I'm going to call my doctor tomorrow because you're supposed to call them when your cycle is full blown day one. Right now I'm only spotting because I'm one of those girls that spots usually a little bit before it's full blown. So it'll probably be full blown in the morning when I wake up or throughout the day it'll actually come on full blown. I'll call my doctor because you're supposed to call them on day one. And then they'll tell me what to do from there. I believe on day two or three I have to go in for labs to be drawn and maybe um, a vaginal ultrasound this week. So hope that works out with my job because I did not tell them what's going on yet. Um, and then I think they start in like around cycle day 12. That's when they start monitoring your follicles. And then they'll tell you when to do all the meds and stuff. Usually I take my Femera days 5 through 9 of my cycle. Um, and I don't know about these other meds. I don't know if she's going to have me to take metformin this cycle. Um, so yeah. All together, on this paper that I got from my doctor, it says on the paper IUI will average about $1,200 which I think is pretty accurate when it comes to the medicine and stuff that's not included in that $1,062 I think that's pretty accurate that it'll be about $1,200 depending on how much all this medicine is out of pocket with no insurance but hopefully you guys have insurance because it sucks if you don't you will be like me and once again this is like the North Carolina South Carolina price range and then on this paper, just to give y'all a little heads up, this thing says IVF costs $14,000. Fourteen. IUF. IVF is $14,000. But then it says IVF minimum stimulation not covered by insurance, approximately $6,000. And then it says IVF with gestational carrier is about $18,000. Then it says IVF with donor and gestational carrier is about $27,000. God bless us people with problems or that's going through things because that's a lot of money and it's not something we ask for. I think infertility problems should be covered fully because that's not something anybody asks for. I don't think we should be responsible for that. It's probably in something we're getting from all these food and drugs and whatever else this government doing to us with this PCOS and stuff, but anyways, I just wanted to give y'all an update on how much IUI is. As you can see, I am looking forward to going that route, towards going that route, so keep us uplifted in your prayers, me and my husband, as he'll be there to support me and give me all of his lovely proceeds, and... I said what you over there lying about. You over there lying still, huh? He'll give me all of his lovely proceeds. And, yep, yeah, actually we're going to call those seeds pre-seeds because those are the seeds that are going to get us where we need to go. And those are seeds being implanted into me. I'm looking at my husband, y'all. But anyways, I just wanted to give y'all an estimate on how much that IUI costs. So if you happen to have to do it, good luck to you. God bless you. And I just wish you the best. Um, I know it'll work out. Hopefully on the first try because no one wants to pay all that money and nobody really wants to keep waiting for something that they want so bad. So God will bless us and we are not calling this trying to conceive anymore. We are calling this, um, I don't even like to say going to conceive. I like to say I have conceived. I'm already pregnant in the name of Jesus. Amen. Talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll keep you all updated with my IUI process or my process on doing everything I have to do to get where I want to be. So I'll talk to y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.